we are talking about the bounces. My name is Greg, you're watching How to Play Paintball. Before we get started, thanks to ProEds for sponsoring this video. Uh, as always, please support those that support the channel. If you haven't checked out the other videos on the snake side, the middle, and what I'm calling the Snocrito, uh, so there's some different shots that I, I looked at there to give you a kind of heads up on going into practice, or if you're trying to break down maybe some different ideas at the event. Uh, but this video is gonna be all about possible bounce shots. So let's uh, let's just dive right in. So I, I it's, you can see it's a little bit crazier than, than normal. Um, so let's just go from, uh, from left to right, uh, or your left to my left. You get the idea. So from this Maya, uh, or this tower, I think, and remember all of these need to be seen as a possibility and not a guarantee, just things that you should look at. From this outside of the tower, if you shoot the other tower, I think there's a chance it'll bounce into the Aztec. So someone, even if they're tucked in, you might be able to catch them uh, off guard that way. Um, as, I, as we move into the snake, this snake one, I think is gonna be able to bounce off this tower into this wing. Now, how much this wing is used, I'm not really sure, but you know, it, it's a possibility. The little W here off this pin, I think has a chance of going into the can. Um, and then uh, I guess I'll just kind of zigzag as I go through. The other thing from this snake corner is off the pin from the outside or the inside, you have to try and see where it is you need to shoot it, I think could skip off into the can as well as into the back center. So this definitely helps out with this, uh, this snake corner being more useful. You can't stop them going down the snake, but maybe you can catch some other people off guard that are trying to support someone in the snake and then you can go and bunker that person out. You know, it's just different possibilities with that. Uh, the back center, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going backwards. Um, so we're, we're gonna come back around here. <laughs> um, so the green line, you can see from the Dorito, I think off the tower into the wing and also into the other wing is a possibility. Now this one, you could still probably stay in that zone right there. And that's gonna be relatively safe or if you kind of push into it, I think you should be okay. It just is gonna make that person uncomfortable. Um, from this same Dorito off the pin, I think we'll go into the brick. And remember the brick is someone that is able to shoot into a lot of this stuff in here. So having that, that bounce, if that does work, is gonna make that brick hard to stay alive in and hard to be effective in. Um, so it'll force people to you know have to tuck in or have to you know go on the into the inside, maybe go to the wing or try to you know back up, I guess. I don't know. Or they might just stop going there altogether. And uh, one of the last ones, actually this is the last one, from this tower on the inside, I think has a chance of shooting off the can into this Dorito. Basically, go out and try a bunch of stuff is really what this comes down to. I think when you are looking at different angles, and try it out. It seems like there's a lot of different possibilities of where you can do bounce shots. Uh, so put it down in the comments down below. Are there any that I missed? Make sure that you are um, uh, sharing the wealth. And uh, thanks again to ProEds for sponsoring this. And yeah, that's gonna be it. I will see you guys at the event. And of course I'll have my raw footage for practice up in a little bit. And tell me if you wanna play and critique as well. All of that fun stuff. Check out the other videos. I'm gonna stop talking. Watch, learn, win. Thanks, bye.